historic city of Bath in the West Country, a World Heritage Site internationally famous for the hot springs that provided its name, today Bath, who voted Remain in the referendum, is set to be one of the most hotly contested seats in June's general election. After crunching the numbers, Bath looks like the perfect Lib Dem target seat. They'd only need 5% of Conservative voters to switch in order to win here. And the city has a history of turning yellow. Before 2015, it had a Lib Dem MP for 13 years. Both here and nationally, the youth vote could be all important. So I came to this student haunt to see if I could get any clearer sense of how this constituency might vote if the under-25s mobilise. I'm interested to see what Tim Farron comes back with and, and what he suggests, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. And who, who have you back before, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I, I've backed Labour before, mainly, um, but I'm just a little bit nervous about Jeremy Corbyn's stance on in, in, within the leadership of the Labour Party at the moment. How are you planning on voting? Uh, I think I'll vote Conservative. I'm pretty sure I'll vote Conservative. Um, I know, obviously, Bath's typically Conservative region anyway, but I tend to vote Conservative anyway. Not much clearer there, then. And from the Conservative candidate, a refusal to be anything other than resolutely on message. I think we have to deliver the strongest stable government that our constituents need us desperately to deliver, as well as what our country desperately needs. And the only person to deliver that, in my mind, is Theresa May, and I'm hearing that on every single doorstep I go and knock on. The immediate obstacle that the Lib Dems here have to overcome is the lack of a local candidate. But once that's resolved, they believe that they are in with a chance to win back this seat. We're very optimistic about the future. Um, we have had over 150 activists and volunteers over the past four days, which is we're breaking record numbers in the amount of people coming through my office door. Um, the amount of people in, uh, we've had helping in a recent by-election where we got 48% of the vote and the Tories coming third is only buoying and our spirits and weighing really heavily on the Tories uh, throughout the city. So, yeah, we're, we're hopeful, um, but the only time we'll know is on June the 9th. Bath, Remain at the referendum and with a history of liberalism, is a perfect target seat for the Lib Dems, provided they can sort out who's going to stand. If the much vaunted fight back is to have any chance of succeeding, then they need to get organised and fast. Sophie Ridge, Sky News, Bath.